Okay, so, hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Um, it's Halloween, so if you do happen to be watching this on Halloween, happy Halloween. I just came back from school and I'm sitting down here to record this video. And, yeah. Now, I got back, you know, I look at the poll, people voted. I thought I'd be doing a live stream, but, well, here I am, making a special Halloween video. And... Yeah, I, I've, I had no idea what I was making, but I came up with a little uh, something for Halloween. I mean, you guys ask for it, so I don't know. Maybe this will be fun if you have like 10, 20 minutes to listen to a quick what if one shot. Well, you found the right video for Halloween. Or if you're not watching this on Halloween, and you've found my channel at some point in the future and you watched every other video I have to offer, so now you're watching this, well then, okay, I, I, let, let's start, and also, I, I don't, I'm not gonna put in an intro, because I'm too, like, I can't be bothered with spending time to edit this video, like, it's gonna be edited, but, like, not really, anyway, um, yeah, the way this video is gonna work is I'm going to give naruto a special ability called trick or treating and um the way this works is he has a special like tool like a bag right that he carries around on his back and he can um basically take other people's powers right um, I won't explain it, um, in full detail now. Uh, I'm just gonna explain it in the story. So, we start with a kid, Naruto, on Halloween. And, you know, all the kids are running around the streets, you know, going to every house, trick-or-treating. And Naruto, well, he tries as well, but, well, nobody really likes him. People see Naruto and recognize him, and they just don't give him any treats. They, they they turn him around at the door, make him go away. And Naruto's sad, as he keeps trying every house, going to every house, being like, trick or treat. And eventually, and after an hour passes, he starts to give up. And he sees one last house at the end of the road. As he rings the doorbell, the person opens the door and he says, trick or treat. And the man seeing Naruto, well, he's like, oh, I've been waiting to see you for a long time now. As he picks up Naruto and throws him out onto the street and punches him a few times. Not too much, because... Um, well, he doesn't want to kill a child, but he's like, that serves you right, demon brat, for all the things you've done. You know, I'd do more, but this is your lucky day. I'm going to show you some mercy. As Naruto, all beaten up and bruised, crawled on the floor, on the soft grass and the mud, as he looked to the side and saw a bag, a trick-or-treating bag. And, well, he took it, and suddenly something changed, as this bag happened to possess magical Halloween pow- Yeah, guys, come on, I, I gotta do something, I'm just, 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 just go along with it, okay? As, um, Naruto's complete outfit completely changed, and, um... Suddenly, he was wearing a black outfit, and he had a special Ninetales mask. And what I mean by this is, imagine, like, the Ombu masks, but, like, Ninetales themed, right? Um, probably, like, black and orangish, something like that, right? And, um, so, he put the trick-or-treating bag on his back, and... If you want to know what this bag looks like, it's a ba back, a black bag, and it has like little s ropes around, like straps, so he can put them on his back. And it's just like a, you know, black, generally plastic 
not plastic, but like, I don't know how to describe it, just a bag, yeah, let's say a bag, and he puts it on, and now he has a Halloween theme, and um, after that, well, the trick-or-treating does end, but he goes home and gets a good night's worth of um, sleep. And honestly, he doesn't take them off because, well, now that he has this mask, maybe people won't recognize him anymore, right? So that's cool. And yeah. Anyway, we time skip to uh, the time he enters the academy. And by now, he has discovered the abilities of this trick-or-treating power that he has. And you guys will have to see when he uses them. Um, and so, well, he arrives at the academy on his first day and walks into the room with his mask on. Now, people do recognize him to be Naruto, like, they know that this is Naruto, but they don't, like, in their head, they're not like, oh, it's the, um, demon kid, because, like, when it was Naruto, everybody, you know, thought of him uh, terribly, but recently, in recent years, like, he made, he's made a bit of a reputation for himself for being, a kind of a cool person, so, like, it's more like a 50-50 now, like, half the people still hate him, the other half are kind of, like, neutral, um, about him, right, and he enters the class, um, and they have, like, a test, and by test, I mean, like, evaluation, you know, sparring, and they have their spar, right? Um, and in the sparring, Naruto faces against Sasuke. And um, after a bunch of fighting and getting absolutely outclassed by Naruto, uh, Sasuke attempts to throw a fireball jutsu. And um, as he throws, starts weaving his hand signs uh, for the fireball jutsu, Naruto starts weaving his own hand signs. Now, Sasuke doesn't recognize him and thinks nothing of it because he doesn't know what every hand sign is. But Iruka sees these hand signs and understands none of them and is like, what on earth is this kid planning? And he thinks, you know, if he should interfere for a moment, but he's like, ah, this kid's getting, what could he possibly do? As um, Sasuke shoots out the huge fireball jutsu and Iruka's like, oh no, Naruto is dead. But then he forgets Naruto has a jutsu of his own. As having finished his weaving his hand signs, he extends his hand and um, almost snatches the fireball jutsu out of the air. If that's a right word, if that's the right word, he just reaches out and grabs the fireball jutsu, compressing it into a little thing in his hand. As when he reopens his hand, the fireball jutsu had been sealed inside of a little of uh, the, the, the candy, right? It, there, there was like a wrapper around the fireball jutsu. And Sasuke was shocked. He's like, did he just turn my fireball jutsu into candy? And Naruto then proceeded to throw that candy, the wrapper straight at, uh, well, he threw the candy straight at Sasuke, this time opening the wrapper as the fireball shot out of the candy wrapper, I guess, what, what where it was stored, and blasted Sasuke out the ring. Now, if you didn't understand already, the way this power works, well, I, I think I said Keke Genkai at the beginning of this uh, thing. It's not a Keke Genkai, sorry, that was like a mistake on my part. It's an ability, whatever. Um, the ability allows him uh, to, it's like a ceiling jutsu. It allows him to seal away anything into a candy, store it in his uh, trick-or-treating bag, and then release it at any time he wishes. Yeah, pretty OP, I know. And, yeah, Naruto proceeds to easily go through everything in the um, academy and has no trouble with any of, like, the tests or, like, whatever's and passes the academy pretty easily now you guys might be thinking what about the nine tails 
forget the nine tails um he doesn't need to be a part of this and yeah team seven is formed um and kakashi arrives kakashi meets them on the roof they do their introductions and kakashi tells them to meet up at the training grounds and yeah i am going fast because this is a one shot and i need to um go out the house soon and i want to finish this before i well we're gonna go and pick up my little brother and do some trick or tr whatever uh, so i'm trying to finish this quickly also it's a one shot as i said um yeah keep that in mind anyway um where was i yes the bell test and so what happens in this bell test is naruto runs basically straight in having an ultimate defense of swords um that he can just block any jutsu with and he runs in at kakashi and naruto has pretty good taijutsu like he's better than sasuke at taijutsu and Ta sasuke was able to mostly you know be, like be equal for like a little bit of time against a uh kakashi that was holding back so i'm just gonna say that this naruto can um also do so and this time after like maybe five minutes of fighting when kakashi tries to use one of his jutsu to sort of defeat naruto well for the moment at least like kind of uh get rid of him get some peace continue reading his book naruto once again turns this jutsu into a tree which is funny because the jutsu he was using this one moment was the jutsu i think it's called the headhunter jutsu it's the jutsu where kakashi goes underground and pops out from under his opponent dragging them into the ground now um some context naruto had tried launching a a an attack at um at Kakashi, but Kakashi had blocked it with his mud wall. And while being behind his mud wall, he decided, yeah, why don't I like sneak up on Naruto? Now Naruto, seeing this jutsu coming, decided to put this jutsu in this candy wrapper seal, I guess. And in doing so, not only did he, well, get rid of the jutsu, but because Kakashi was, I guess, part of the jutsu at the moment, he trapped Kakashi in the wrapper as well. And this was an outcome Naruto completely didn't expect. But he looked inside the wrapper and saw Kakashi along with a bunch of dirt inside the wrapper. As Kakashi, he just, like, Naruto put, put the, uh, the wrapper up to his eye and, like, stared into it and saw, like, Kakashi, like, being like, let me out, let me out of here, what is this? And he did try to escape for a while. But eventually agreed, okay, I'll give you guys the bells. I can't, I can't ex escape out of this, this whatever jutsu, uh, whatever seal you have put me in. Somehow, some way, I cannot escape. So I guess I give up. And they pass. Now, Land of Waves. Um, Tazna arrives. Um, they, go to, they go off to the Land of Waves. Demon Brothers, um, well, they that goes just about the same as in the original except naruto's actually competent and does not get poisoned i know big surprise and for zabuza when he flings his blade at them you're gonna notice this becomes a theme but naruto actually surprise big big surprise i know um seals away his sword inside his candy wrapper and um now he has zabuza's sword uh and kakashi and zabuza fight each other Kakashi gets trapped in the water prison, and um, to save him, Naruto throws uh, Zabuza's sword right back at him, forcing him to let go of the jutsu, and Zabuza gets, well, GG'd. But in this version, Kakashi actually kills Zabuza before Haku is able to step in, with Haku being just a tad bit too late. And here's where it gets interesting, because... Zabuz, uh, Haku traps both um, Naruto, Sasuke, and Kakashi in the ice mirrors. Now, you guys get to pick your own path, or no, pick your own option. What do you think Naruto does? A. Try to punch at the mirrors. B. 
just stay in there and dodge the uh, Senbon. C. Strategize and come up with a plan with Kakashi and Sasuke. Or D. Continue to spam his overly broken and illogical ability to just take care of the ice mirrors in Haku. Of course, as you guessed, it was in fact D. Naruto seals away um, all of the ice mirrors one by one inside of his candy wrappers, and Haku, um, well, realizing that if he doesn't do something quickly, uh, he's about to get trapped in one of those candy wrappers, flees the ice mirrors. But Naruto pulls an Uno reverse card as he throws all of the candy wrappers back at uh, Haku as Haku's trying to flee, and um, blocks uh, Haku's path with the first mirror. As Haku tries to run the other direction, he throws the other wrapper, and so on and so forth, until before Haku knows it, he is trapped inside his own ice mirrors. Great, right? Yeah. And then Naruto kind of destroys Haku from there. The bridge, the bridge is built. I'm gonna ignore that Gato even exists. Gato dies, and yeah, Team Seven goes back to the the, the, the village. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what happens. Tuning exams. You see, the thing about the tuning exams is around the time when the tuning exams happens, Hiruzen actually hears about Naruto's greatness and Naruto's amazing like overpowered ability and asked to spar with Naruto and just to assess his abilities and after this assessment is complete uh here's and decides yeah Naruto just gets auto promoted to Jonin because he is clearly too powerful to be a Genin and um here's and says yeah you can you can be like one of the proctors or like one of the watchers I guess of the tuning exams so that's what naruto does he's like epic very cool yes thank you here is an i am now yeah and so that's what he does team seven um goes well team seven except naruto so sasuke and sakura they go through part one and the forest of death uh pretty pretty well except when um rochamaru arrives gives sasuke the curse mark um Guess what Naruto does? This is a huge plot twist. I don't think you guys will ever be able to guess what Naruto does here. Takes a candy wrapper and seals away Orochimaru's curse mark. I know. I'm so I'm being so creative and original here. You've never seen anything like it. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I know. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Honestly, it's so good you could subscribe it's it's almost like we're trying to hit 2k subscribers right subscribe <clears throat> sorry about that and yeah now here's the thing here's the actual plot twist you see naruto the news had was spreading naruto the trick or treater um as he was called was showing up everywhere everyone was talking about him and his amazing ability and well he technically does have the nine tails but like yeah and so the akatsuki seeing all this commotion were like hmm. you know why why wouldn't it be a great idea um to like so all of us go there to the shooting exams now and capture the nine tails like nothing could possibly go wrong um so during the final part of the tuning exams, guess who decides to show up? The Akatsuki, who also happen to be the main villains of this story, and the people who I have to get rid of so for this story to end. Yeah, I know, convenient. I'm aware. So, Naruto is like, Stop. You can't do this to me. I am only- No, I'm kidding. Um, Pain blasts his um, almighty push at him, and Naruto seals it away in a candy wrapper, and opens the candy wrapper again, boom, <laughs> just sent it back at him, crazy, um, original, and you guys can clearly tell that I was prepared to make this video and scripted, totally not like, totally not like going off the top of my head here, um, and totally not like, 
no planning, making it up on the spot. Totally couldn't be what's going on right now. Uh, as you can tell by the quality of the storytelling. And... Awkward pause. Yeah, so uh, Naruto kind of continues to solo the Akatsuki with minor help from, uh, you know, weak shinobi such as Hiruzen. Like, you know, you know, Hiruzen's pretty weak compared to Naruto. Like, he's nowhere near Naruto level. Yeah. Uh, like, Hokage? Like, come on. You should be a trigger trader. Like, there's, there, there's a clear difference between those two roles. And Akatsuki get defeated. Yeah. And then Naruto sees Zetsu watching from the sides. And guess what he does? He takes a candy wrapper and seals Zetsu away forever. Uh, I know. And here's the crazy thing. You guys might be like, oh, but Zetsu is sealed in this candy wrapper. So, wait, I know what you're going to do. It would be really cool if this item was then taken by the enemies and Zetsu came back and Naruto had the... No. So what, so what happens is actually um, I'm going to... Make Naruto put 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 the Zetsu um, candy throw it in a fire pit until it burns, disappears like the candy disappears, which means Zetsu disappears. And yeah, they lived happily ever after. And also, Naruto made Halloween the most important celebration in the entire Leaf Village. Oh no, the entire Shinobi world. And happy Halloween to all of you watching this on Halloween. Um, again, if if you did not enjoy this, what if? I'm sorry, but this is kind of what you guys voted for, but like, like, no, 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 I'm, I'm not saying like, I don't know how to say this, but like, no, 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 not like that, not like that. If you guys thought that this video wasn't like the highest quality thing you've ever seen, it's not supposed to be, it's just like a fun one shot for Halloween, but I don't think that's what you guys are thinking anyway. I'm just going to wish you guys a happy Halloween and say goodbye and um, wish you that you also happen to stumble upon a magical Halloween bag the same way Naruto did. So, goodbye.